Oh, Gary, Nasai Minasan, in the latest episode of Kamen Rider Geeks, we learned of the origin of the Jamato. But I felt like a lot of people, after getting this information, jumped to the conclusion that, hey, that breeder is definitely going to be the ultimate evil, the, the one, the final boss of the series. But I'm telling you here that he will not be the final boss of the series. You can mark my word on this because... The story of Kamen Rider Geese is all about our riders trying to fulfill their own desire. And then the enemy, the ultimate evil, the final boss of the rider should be a personification that actually stop them from achieving their desire. So the anti-desire, something like that. And I felt like the enemy Jamato is like the perfect enemy for our riders because even in their name itself, Jamato would actually mean the one who blocks, the one who hinders and the ones who disturb those who have a desire, something like that. So Jamato will be at the end of the day, the final boss in the series it is not gonna be the dgp it is not even gonna be that breeder that we saw in the latest episode of kamen rider gears and I, I feel like in order for us to properly give theory and to properly speculate on what is to come we really need to understand what yuya takahashi is trying to do here because when he write the story i believe that he's thinking in in a team in a certain restriction so the story doesn't just fly all over the place and if we actually nail down the idea that the main theme of Kamen Rider gets it is to fulfill desire then we would definitely see how the breeder would die because the breeder actually have his own desire as well which is to see the war where the Jamato is ruling over humanity so at the end of the day we are definitely gonna see like the Jamato betraying him even though he can be the one he could be the one that actually love them empower them but at the end of the day that he is gonna get killed by his own desire so that is something really really amazing but what about Gilori? what about the dgp what is he gonna do when all of this is taking place i felt like Gilori is is gonna realize that he is no longer in control he can go either way okay he can do two things first thing pick up his own desire driver use the most op rice buckle that he has and and try to take down the jamato himself he can do that definitely he can do that but another possibility that he can do is to rely on the rider like he re he asked the rider hey we we need your help this is no longer a game this this dgp has grow beyond us it is not in my control anymore and i felt like the person that is gonna bring all the rider together is gonna be ky because ky is the one that fights to protect the wall like he doesn't really have a, a strong desire other than wanting war peers so when he see the war is at threat he would definitely be the one that is gonna risk everything like ask everyone to 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 bring everyone together to fight together and Kilori is gonna rely on Kewa on this perspective how about Ukiyo S like is he gonna help out maybe maybe not okay I would say at the end of the day he will still help out because he's not a bad guy he might seem like a bad guy but he might he is definitely not a bad guy okay so really really interesting stuff that we actually get to see here like we we can even get both scenario from Gilori where he suit up to be a rider he fight alongside with the rider and then he realized that hey I cannot he might even try to sabotage the rider okay like because like, I don't want S Ukiyo to win something like that so all of these are definitely possible and then they can definitely happen in the future but all of the all, all of the thing that i said in the video itself is definitely just a speculation okay so there's no rule there's no ground stating that this is facts and all those stuff but one thing we know that is facts for my video is the main theme of the story which is desire and if yuya takahashi is a really amazing writer I would say at the end of the day the one that they need to defeat is the one that is blocking them from achieving their desire it shouldn't be another person 
that also have the desire. But it, the story can go both ways, okay? Because like when you, when you have a desire and someone else have a desire that clashes with you, it's kind of like like just for a simple illustration of example what on what I'm trying to say here is like when I I pray that tomorrow is gonna rain and then another person is gonna pray that tomorrow is not is not gonna rain so it's like there's these two desire is gonna fight with clash with one another and the one with the the one that wins the desire is gonna win the game itself so we are not really sure how the story is gonna end for Kamen Rider Gears because so not gonna lie so far we don't actually really see a theme of where it, we don't really see a direction of where the story is actually going I felt like what Kamen Rider Gears did really really well is setting up suspense set, setting up a lot of question in our mind to actually got curious of what is actually happening like why is this like what what is the direction like what is the future for our rider it's like none of these are all, all of the things that we are seeing here are so how do i say they are they are on it's like they are standing on eggshell anytime this eggshell could break and the the status quo will change entirely that is something that Giz did really really well but I felt like in Kamen Rider Revised, which which is the previous series before Giz itself, one thing they did really well ever since the first episode of the series itself is to set up the main theme of the story, which is family. And, and we actually get to see, we know how the story is going to progress because we know everything is going to be centered around the Igarashi family, something like that. And all the characters that is going through their own character development are all relates to family, like adopted family, like a friend became family, something like that. It doesn't have the blood relationship family, something like that. So I felt like Giz is going to slowly show us what is the 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 main focus of the series itself and it is definitely going to be surrounding around desire but i, I felt like maybe the big question here will, for Kamen Rider Giz is like is your desire greater than the life of other people are you it's like are you willing to sacrifice everything and lose your humanity when you want to achieve your desire it's like I, I i remember this song in this mandarin song in the in in, in back, back back in the day when i'm i'm and i kind of like an emo face or something like that but i remember this chinese song lyrics it, it's a romantic love song something like that it's like it, it goes something like if i it's like the the down need the run check the put down need the sing not the down chance to yeah like make one sees or like blah 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 i don't know what is the proper lyrics already but what i'm trying to say here the lyrics mean like if i got your body but i don't get your heart like what what is the point it's like you can rap someone because you like you 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 want you you you, you love the person you can and, and that person like uh, agree to to have sex with you or something like that but at the end of the day is that what you really want like you do you want a relationship with that person or you only want that person's body and another the, the following lyrics talks about like like if even if i can get the whole war but if i loses you then what is the point something like that so actually if we actually bring this in into the story of coming right the guess we can actually really nail down into the story on like are we gonna lose our humanity when we when we are trying to achieve our desire is that the story the main gist of gifts that they're gonna give us i'm not sure okay i'm really not sure but that is all from me hope you enjoy the video if you have any thoughts any comment at all leave it in the comment section below i'm excited to read them i am excited to have a conversation with all of you and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one and make sure to hand shin that red button into a silver one if you enjoy the content goodbye